Welcome back everybody. Today we're doing a gel test of this ammo right here from Freedom Munitions. This is their relatively new anyway as I'm filming this video. Their Extreme Defensive Carry or XDEF as it's marketed. This is a 124 grain 9mm bullet loaded to plus P standards. And uh, what we're going to do here is get some uh, chrono results from it uh, using this uh, FN509. So I believe this is a 4 inch barrel. We're going to do that from about 10 feet. And then we're going to put it in some gel, uh, bare gel first. And then after that, we're going to use some denim and see how it performs. And that's pretty much what's on deck today. We're going to see how it does. Uh, I think this is Freedom Munitions first, at least that I know of anyway, uh, internally produced line uh, for defensive use. So we'll see how it does. The wound track that's up top and closest to me, that is the one without the denim. And you guys can see there, leading edge is right at 11 inches. The one below it, that one there, was through the four layers of denim. And that one there, the leading edge, is just a touch over 12 inches. Uh, just looking at them, the bullets look like they expanded uniformly. Uh, we're about to check that out. But in terms of wound pattern, it's pretty much typical 9mm stuff. Not a ton of uh, permanent wound cavity. Now, um, one thing about this clear ballistics gel is that it doesn't uh, show wound cavities quite as well as uh, natural gel would. But of course, this is reusable and much easier to use in the field. So that's why we're using it. But um, there you go. So 11 and 12 inches respectively with each of those. We'll pull the rounds out here and see how they look. Yeah, pretty much exactly as you'd expect from a bonded bullet, uniform expansion, um, kind of what they're known for. And then here, if I can get this one over. And yep, there's definitely some denim on that bullet. And as you guys can see, there's a little bit of denim there inside the what rounds themselves, but uniform expansion overall. Looks like it's a little bit uh, less in terms of width here on the one that went through the denim again. That's sort of as expected, and also why we probably saw another inch of penetration. Just some quick thoughts to wrap the video up here now that we've actually seen how it did in the gel and in the chronograph test. A couple things. So with the plus P designation, I would say it's generally speaking not that hot for 124 grain ammo. Me personally, I like that. I'm not a huge fan of plus P for defensive use, but that is a video for another day. Um, it shoots relatively soft. It feels like your standard loading of 124 grain, which is good. Again, in my opinion, some of you guys may differ with that. Now, the penetration that we saw in both the bear and uh, the denim test, rather, um, some of you guys are going to be underwhelmed with the penetration. That's fine. Again, that's for you guys to choose. Some of you guys are really going to like it because I know a lot of people uh, really have a fear of over penetration and uh, seeing the 11 and 12 inch marks there uh, is going to give you guys some solace. Um, that the risk of over penetration is minimized. Of course, the FBI's uh, test calls for with this type of testing between 12 to 18 inches of penetration. So with the bear test, we were short of that. But again, that's for you guys out there who carry guns and uh, use them to defend your family and yourself um, to decide on. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up. We will put in some photos of these here up close and personal with the weights and expanded dimensions here right after I stop talking. And uh, that'll pretty much be it. If you guys are looking for this ammo, you can go down below in the video description. Pick that up. Freedom Munitions does offer a uh, discount to all my viewers. So you guys can take advantage of that as well should you choose to do so. If you guys have any questions, 
You can always post down below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page as always. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. And I hope to see all of you in the next video. Thank you.